Hi guys and welcome to episode 3 of Challenge 145 where today we're headed over to Moti to get some new trainers. We'll see you there. So I'm here at Moti with Paul and Matt. Um, obviously from my previous testing when Matt did some strength testing and gait analysis it was very quickly identified that my footwear just wasn't up to scratch. Um, so me and Matt have come down and we're speaking to Paul, who is a sort of expert in all things trainers, um, and we're here to uh, yeah find out which shoes are going to be suitable for me moving forward. What we're going to really look at is focus on um, Tom's weight to some aspect. Obviously, make sure that um, the shoes are going to be more stable for him, um, which are going to help him in his running. So, what have you got that would sort of suit a heavy, slow? <laughs> well, I think um, we've got plenty of options really. If your goal on the journey is going to be the half marathon, um, yeah, there's plenty of options, you know, um, some which are you know, a bit more guidance based, yeah. others that have a higher degree of support. I think the best bet really is to, to get you into a bit of a mixture okay. and see what works in terms of size, fit, shape, what doesn't. You've got the treadmill available if you want to jump on yeah, yeah, spin, great. and um, hopefully we'll find something that, uh, that works for your feet. Okay, let's give it a give so it a try. Awesome. awesome. So I've just been through. Uh, tried a number of different pairs of shoes and I've come up with my uh, my three favourites. Um, Paul, give us a lowdown on each one. So, the first one, the Hoka Arahi. So, I think the benefit you'll find from this shoe is you've got a uh, degree of guidance with the J-frame there, which is going to help slow on that, slow on that excess compression, but you get a very lightweight and a nice kind of rocket pulse fit from the shoe. Great. Going really up to the half marathon. Yep. So next, the Asics Kano, which is in your hand there. Um, again, similar to what you're used to in terms of your, your old pair, but you've got that very, very solid, dependable medial post. It's a shoe that's been around for close to 30 years. So again, very stable, very dependable, particularly if you're going up to those long distances. And final one, we've got the Brooks Adrenaline GTS. Another option which has long heritage, so trusted by a lot of runners, you know, up to the half and beyond. You've got the guidance rail system on the outside and extending to the inner side of the shoe as well, which is going to give you some good support without being too intrusive, particularly in those early stages where you're nice and fresh, but going to kick in when you tire a bit, which is where you acquire it. Quite quick with me at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> What I would also say with this shoe, which some people don't realise, is it's also flared through the medial side and it's offset slightly, which also allows it to be a lot more stable without actually having the intrusiveness inside here as well. Great. Okay, so, it's like get them on and do a bit of running? I think so. Great. So after some testing on the treadmill with three pairs that have been selected, um, for some reason these ones seem to feel the most comfortable and best suited to me. Uh, so I've decided that for my challenge, I'm going to go with the Hoka. Um, so a massive shout out to Paul and the team here at Moti. Thank you for all your help today, it's been fantastic. Um, and if you've got any running shoe needs or running equipment needs, get down to Moti and check them out. <laughs>